priesthood is a class where you learn the doctrines of the kingdom, where you're taught by those authorized to teach the correct doctrines. Then it's a great brotherhood. Uh, the, probably the greatest brotherhood there is on earth. When we belong to a brotherhood in the priesthood, it should be a greater relationship than anything else other than our own individual families as we associate with others. So it's a brotherhood. And then, of course, it's a service organization where we give of ourselves to make other things better. That's right, and the Aaronic priesthood is just by covenant. The Aaronic priesthood is the lesser priesthood. It's a preparatory priesthood. Therefore, the, or, the Lord, I did not want to put the same feeling and power behind it as my feeling that he would the Melchizedek priesthood because in the Aaronic priesthood, they're growing towards the Melchizedek priesthood, which is the greater priesthood. They're vital. From the time a young man is ordained a deacon, a teacher and a priest, and then into the Melchizedek priesthood, he belongs to a quorum. And a quorum is just that close brotherhood that exists. Uh, I belong to a quorum. It's a very special quorum. It's made up of all the different uh, types of occupations and professions you can think of. But when they're in a quorum together, you're united in purpose. Because in a quorum, you agree unanimously on the course of, that you'll follow, and it will be in accordance with the Lord's will. Unless you have that complete agreement by other members of the quorum, you do not proceed. Think of how that protects you through life, to be certain you have that closeness and that unity and consistency that comes through an order of the priesthood. First of all, they ought to know who they are. Every quorum leader ought to have a list of the members of his quorum. And he should be conscious of those that are having a little trouble in defining the way that they should be living. And then when he has that, if there are a number of them, he should prioritize those that he feels has the greatest urgency. And then he should go out and start visiting them and making them a friend and an associate of the quorum in a way that would draw them back into the fellowship. A priesthood quorum has that responsibility to proclaim, to redeem, and perfect all three necessary and endure to the end, I better say now, <laughs> as we've added that to our requirement. Uh, that's part of priesthood duty and responsibility. And every quorum should be considering that as part of their service obligation in our Father in Heaven's kingdom. Of course, uh, the Melchizedek priesthood uh, is the uh, one that is advisor to the young men in their particular quorums, and they'll help teach them the principles of quorum organization. And they should be very conscious of the continual role of understanding a priesthood quorum and teaching them the service that goes along with it that really is the uniting effect of bringing them together in a calm, common bond. I had an example last weekend of going to a, they, we don't call them mission farewells anymore, we call them sacrament meetings. But a young man was going on a mission. And in the course of his talk, he explained of how he and five, four of his friends had started in the deacon's quorum together. And the support that they gave each other now has all the five of them on their way of fulfilling full-time missions because there was that internal support and friendship that helped them through all of the challenges of life as they move forward. Of course, one of the great reasons in the world to have them go together. Uh, 
I went with my son when he was a teacher in the Aaronic Priesthood. One of the great experiences of my life to go out with him on a whole teaching assignment. And it was a continual teaching process. Well, I, I think the three are so essential to the development of any individual on earth. We all know coming here for our mortal probation that uh, the world is, uh, has a lot of challenges. Unless we have support to help us in our roles as we proceed through, through life, I think we'll find ourselves without uh, a firm plan, a firm direction, a firm roadmap to lead and guide and direct us. And I think a quorum helps us form that roadmap that will lead us back to the presence of our Father in heaven. It's an essential part of our existence here on earth.